What's up YouTube? It is your boy JB and we are here today with the review for Sisters on BET. This is season three, episode number two, and the episode was titled Acting Normal. Alright you guys, so how this is gonna work. I have not done Real Housewives of Beverly Hills because I didn't watch the episode because I was actually out eating at that time. And um so that review will be up sometime tomorrow. And the reason why I, I, I'm going to delay that video is because I want to discuss the housewife, the hustler and the housewife that is on Hulu. So we'll talk about that tomorrow and we'll discuss the episode. And I know with that one, it might be a little bit lengthy, but without further ado, so we're just going to do tonight the old, um, sisters and uh, BT presents the encore. So without further ado, you guys, let's get into the video. Now, before we do that, actually. If you guys are watching this video or any other video on the channel and you're not subscribed to the channel, why are we going out on a date and you're not paid for the meal? So with that being said, let's talk about the episode, shall we? All right, you guys, so this episode, it picked up where the last one left off. You guys remember that when Jasmine shot and um, Gary, you know, the police came and Andy was worried about Gary. I was really hoping that Gary would have gotten shot, but Gary is alive and well, unfortunately. So what happened is he switched it out with he switched the gun out with rubber bullets. I was like, oh, rubber bullets, huh? Okay. So he said he always feared, you know, that she would try to hurt Jasmine, would try to hurt him or herself, vice versa. So that is the reason why he switched out the rubber bullets. I was like, ah, okay. So then, you know, he's saying that he needs to go get his son that is at you know, his son is at Jasmine's mom's house. And she was like, Oh, well, why don't I go with you? He was like because her family is crazy like her crazy matches their crazy so no so then we see aaron aaron is still at karen's house and he's still on the floor mind you it's the next morning i'm like so he said in that position all night he didn't go home karen literally went to her room and aaron was still on her floor hung over better her than me because i wouldn't he would have to go so he tells her he was out of con he was out of his mind and he just has no control of his emotions we can see that so then he thanks her so much for taking care of him and he apologizes for his actions you know getting you know getting down to his draws so in my notes it says here aaron is annoying so aaron is jealous of zach you know he wants to be what zach is to you know karen you know Although he doesn't want to have sex, he didn't want to have sex with. I guess it was something about seeing another man with the woman that you are interested in. I, I guess I, I don't know. So you know, um, she but she you know Karen says, but I love him. We know that Karen. So then she's like, can we talk later? He says no, and that they both need time to you know get some clarity. I'm like, you need time for clarity. She needs time to just think. Well, I guess that would be clarity as well, but whatever. Let's move on. All right, you guys, let's move over to Preston and Danny. So Preston is getting ready to start his day. Danny is still in bed. So he's getting ready to go see his mother. And she says, you know, he says that, you know, his mother is pissed at the way that his incest brothers had treated Danny. So he asked her, are you coming straight home from work today? She was like, Preston, do not invite any of those hillbillies off. He says, that's not why I'm asking, Danny. I'm not asking because I'm inviting my family over. I'm asking because I'm going to miss you. I'm like, uh oh. So then there's a knock at the door. And Dan's like, oh, shit, it's the first. Like, I need to put a notification on when it's the first. He was like, Danny, I paid your rent, so she's not going to bother you. She says she'll always find a way to bother me. So he goes to the door, and Danny hides behind her clothes rack. But... It was Sabrina coming over, being annoying as usual. So Sabrina is there because she wants to talk to Danny. You know, it's so funny when it comes to them with Danny. When Danny says stuff that they don't want to listen, Danny says a lot of things to them sometimes, but they don't want to listen to her. They like they'll shut Danny up, but now you want to listen to Danny? Okay. Danny tells her, you know, at first Danny said, "Hell no, Sabrina," but then she's like, "What is it, Sabrina?" She says, "I don't want to hear nothing about you." Well, not you, but she says, I don't want to hear nothing about Jacoby or Calvin. So Sabrina's like, what do I do when I go to work with Jacoby? Ignore him, act like he's a brick wall. 
talk to him, do whatever you want to do, Sabrina. My God. But Sabrina, but, uh, you know, she tells her to act normal. Well, normal for you. I'm like, what is that? Because I have not saw anything resembling normalcy when it comes to Sabrina. So then we see Andy. So Andy is at home and then Gary comes over with his friend who wants her to model for him. And she says it more than once that she's not a model, but it's as I mean, Gary is just very persistent about her modeling. And I'm like, why is he so persistent about this? But at the end of it all, Andy agrees to it. Andy is a complete idiot. This man is he's controlling. And then she asks him again about meeting this kid. He comes up with an excuse about his autism. Now, I'm not saying that that's not, you know, that couldn't be true. But I'm like, Andy, read the room. So then he tells her that after the photo shoot, he has a surprise for her. She's like, hopefully it's no house in the woods. Hopefully it's not your crazy ass wife. So then we move over to the bank. So Maurice the hook, you know, that, remember that hooker that was in um, Calvin's room, that episode where they played it up that it was Calvin in, in the room having sex when it really wasn't Calvin? Well, he comes to the bank with the check that is drawn under Calvin's account for $5,000. And Maurice is like, where did you get this money? How do you know Calvin? What does Calvin look like? He couldn't describe what Calvin looked like. He, could, he was telling him a, a lie about how he got the money from Calvin so Maurice is like, I'm going to call the police. He's like, oh, no, 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 no. You ain't got to call the police. Like, he was like, how about, you know, I help do something for you. I'll do whatever you want me to do. It was a sexual innuendo. And then, you know, Maurice is like, stop looking at my titties. He was like, they looking at me. So the dude got locked into the bank. Now, when Jacoby showed up, Dude, I tilled it out of the bank. So then Sabrina shows up and she speaks to Maurice, doesn't speak to Jacoby. And Maurice had already told Jacoby that Sabrina didn't want to talk to him. Sabrina acts like a, a, a teenage girl. I just thought about this. Sabrina literally acts like a teenage girl. But let's move on. All right, you guys. So we see Zach and Danny. They're at work at the airport. Zach is in his car giving a woman a ride, I guess, to her terminal. She gives him a tip. And Danny takes said tip, and he's like, you know, well, give it back. He was like, you know what, never mind. You keep it, because she said, you owe me. He's like, what do I owe you for? She was like, for this, for that, for this, for that. He's like, you know what, keep it. Because with this thing that I'm doing with Fatima, I'm making, you know, money. She's like, and he was telling her that one of, you know, his property, it sold. So she's like, well, you can pay Karen back. He says, I have paid Karen back, and I'm going to continue to pay Karen back. So that way, um, he's going to continue to pay Karen off. So then she asks him, you know, what is it with you and Fatima? He says that, you know, he, she says, do you love her? He says, I don't even know her like that. She says, well, do you like her? She sa He says, yes. She says, then why did you fuck Karen? And he can't get, I mean, he really can't give a good excuse about that one. But he does say that when it comes down to him and Karen, he wants to move on from Karen. And he wants Karen to move on from him. I don't believe that. So then we go to, we see Karen, she's at work, and Pam is there with what looks like a new wig, and she's still just as nosy. So then Andy comes in, and Karen says, you know, I've been calling you, Andy. She says, I know, but I wanted to come down here and see you in person myself. So I guess Andy's not going to tell the girls that Jasmine almost shot her. And she shot Gary with a rubber bullet. Really wish it was a real bullet. So, so Karen asked Andy if she knew about Fatima. She says, I did not know Karen. She says, but Fatima is a good person. So then after that, Karen says, well, how about we go out for drinks later? And she says, no, I can't do that because Gary got me a photo shoot. You're not a model. We, we all know that she's not a model. Like, how does she not see that Gary is trying to control her? I don't get that, but whatever. So we see Andy back at the office and she's talking to Fatima and, and mind you when she was talking to Fatima it seemed that she had it seemed as if she had an entire attitude and I was like girl check your attitude. 
So then Fatima apologizes, saying she had no idea about Zach. And Fatima says that, you know, um, she's not that type of chick to do something like that, which I believe her. And she says, but I do like Zach. And then she says, you know, what, um, maybe I should call Karen. And, you know, Andy's like, no, you don't need to call her. She says, you know, we'll tell her that it's over with me and Zach. She's like, is it? She says, yes. So then, you know, Andy's like, Zach is the guy that you've been talking about? She said, yes. She was like, why? She says, because the Zach that you mentioned is not the Zach that I know. The Zach that I know, he lives off of women. And Fatima, and she's like, are you cool with that? She's like, yeah, as long as I see, you know, as long as I see potential. And she's like, potential with Zach? Yes. See, that's the thing about it when it comes to friend groups, male, male, female, female, male, when in any friend group. When you get in a relationship and you tell your friends the bad about, you know, your significant other, that's all they have in their head. Even though your significant other might be doing some good things in the relationship, they only remember the the bad stuff. So that's what it is with Andy. But Andy says that, you know, she'll tell Karen that things are over with she and Zach. So let's move on. All right, you guys, I didn't even realize I was at the end of my notes. And I don't know why it says Karen when it was actually Sabrina, but Sabrina was in her office all day. And it's just been Jacoby and Maurice. So Maurice, he calls Calvin and he tells Calvin that there's an issue with this account. So the issue with the account is the guy that was in his room took his checks, been writing hot checks all around, took all of Calvin's money out of his account. Wait, how? How did that happen? Well, it depends on how, how much money is in Calvin's account. That's the question because when it comes to normal banking laws you can only like let's say because if he obviously he's withdrawing the money so you can only take out oh i mean you can't take out that much money in a day from a bank from a financial banking institution so i was confused by that and then who and i mean i know people still write checks but that's very far and few between that people still write checks in this day and age, but, and someone of Calvin's age is writing a check. Okay. But yeah, Maurice told him that his check in the account is empty and his checks are bouncing all over. Yeah. So, um, he, you know, he, um, yeah, the checks are bouncing. So Maurice tells him that he has to come down to the bank and talk to Sabrina so that way she can override it. And he was like, but I can't go to any other bank. She was like, you can, but she's the only one that can do such and such. I'm like, huh? The hell? Is it a motor? Is it a main bank? Is it the main branch? I, I was confused, but whatever. But in a nutshell, he told him to get his ass down there to the bank. So we see Gary. Gary calls Danny on the phone and she's like, the hell are you calling me for? So he tells her he feels that the girl should come and support Andy with this whole modeling gig. And I was with Sabrina, I was with um, Danny when she hung up in his face. So she hung up in his face and called Karen. And Karen was like, Danny, I'm at work. She said, that, em that empty ass bank. And then she called Sabrina. She called Sabrina and then she called Karen. I'm like, did I say Karen? She called Karen. She called Sabrina at work. Then she called Karen. So, you know, Karen, she's telling them about Gary calling her. They're like, why is he calling you? She said, I guess, you know, he's saying that Andy has his modeling thing that she's doing. And, you know, Karen's like, yeah, she does. She told me that earlier. And they were like, you didn't tell us. She was like, I just recently, I, I, I mean, it just happened not too long ago. So now they're going to go to the photo shoot because they're apprehensive of Gary. But Karen says, you know, first I got to get my gun locked and loaded i was like okay i wonder what gary has up his sleeve but that's the episode you guys let me know what you guys thought about it leave your comments in the comment section below subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell button so you guys are aware of when i drop anything else and share this video until the next one stay safe out there you guys take care of yourselves remember wash your hands wear your mask or not whichever one you choose to do just be safe be blessed and i'll catch you guys later Bye, guys.